tier list. Fall Guys. It's pretty much like, I mean, it has its goods and its bads. I mean, it's better than Stumble Guys because Stumble Guys has um weird outfits. That's all I want to say. So it's pretty good. Dumb Ways to Die belongs in the trash. For God's sake, this game is just like dumb ways to die for nine hours straight while you're just saving characters. It's boring. Raft. I mean, it's oh, it's pretty good, I guess. Well, it's better than dumb ways to die, obviously, but it can be next to Fall Guys. A lot of people play this game, and I've tried it, and I pretty much like it. Gang Beasts. This game is pretty good. I like to play with my friend, um, Wolf, and we just beat each other up. It's pretty fun. So I want to put it in really great. Just when you're not with friends, it's like boring and just like it feels wrong. Roblox. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Just that you can get scammed if you're dumb enough. Um, Kindergarten 2. Amazing. It's like just a murder, a kidnapping mystery and that stuff. Yeah, but Granny Simulator. Masterpiece. You get to murder grandma if you're the grandson, and if you're granny, you get to spray pepper spray into the baby's eyes. Amazing and murderous. Untitled Goose Game. Amazing. You get to ruin people's lives. Perfect. Beat Saber. Well, yeah, this is pretty much my excuse to, um, exercising sometimes. So, it's amazing. Among Us, really fun round, so yeah, I'm gonna rate it really great. Fortnite, our class's reputation is around Fortnite. If Fortnite wasn't a thing, my friends would have been dying. So I'm gonna give this really great. Planet Zoo. You can do a bunch of random stuff and random things. It's really fun. So amazing. It's up there. That's all I know. Stardew Valley. You can create your own world and that stuff. And it's pretty fun. So I'll give it um, pretty good, pretty great. Yeah, pretty great. Horizon, amazing game. It's a masterpiece. They just made a VR version. And it's very different. Goat Simulator. It belongs in the JK. It's really great. Like, you get to explode dang gas stations with your goat. It's so fun. Super Mario Odyssey. I'm not ranking it there. Well, I guess it's pretty fun, so I'll give it pretty good, actually. Just some weird glitches. Mario Party. It's okay, because without friends, you're kind of lonely and playing with dumb NPCs. Mario 3D World and um, Bowser's Furry. This game is amazing, and since it's squatted together, I have to- I can't give this a bad rating, so amazing. I'm next up. Run 3. Uh, I mean, if we're bored, we play this game, but it's pretty much just a character running around inside of a tunnel with holes in it. Mario Deluxe 8. No matter where you are, this game is fun. I don't care what people say. This is really great. Oh. Ah. Really great. Super Smash Bros. This game is our family's, like, OG game, because me and my mom and my dad just play together sometimes, just normally. So, like, if you ha even if you don't have friends, this game is amazing because you can call on CPUs. Arms. 
I mean, I can't give this a bad rating. You get to beat up enemies with your um, stretchy arms, and each character has a special power. Happy Wheels. I've seen so many videos about this. It's really great. Just has um, a bit of horror and that stuff. But yeah, it's pretty fun. Fun with the rap with ragdolls the game i mean this game is ma a masterpiece straight up like it's really fun like you get to like launch npcs and that stuff brawl stars i can't give this a bad rating so i'll give it ri amazing because i mean sometimes you just waste all your money on it genshin impact um, it was really boring and takes a long time to load it, so it's okay. Pico Park. Straight up, if you don't have friends, this game is useless to you. So I can, I have to give this like an, it's okay? Dino game. Masterpiece. Whenever I'm bored, this is what I do, and no Wi-Fi. Keep talking and nobody explodes. It's pretty fun when you're, like, by yourself. It's, like, really, like, exciting, too. Secret Neighbor. Pretty much, like, it's a bunch of kid, and one of you guys are the secret neighbor. And it's gonna kill all of the kids. So, I guess I can give that really great... Because it's pretty fun. And next up is Whole IO. Whole IO is pretty fun at school, but it just loses all of your progress, so it's uh, not too good. I'm gonna rank two more, and that will be Pokemon Unite and Overcooked 2. Overcooked 2, you're like just a little, these little characters that are cooking and the map keeps moving so you guys have to work together. The first, so it's really fun. Me and my friends play it a lot while we're camping and that stuff, but it's pretty good. Last but not least, Pokemon Unite. I'm not writing it like that. Pokemon Unite is really great when you're playing it with friends. Like, you can collect so many characters and that stuff. But, yeah.